your homepage won't load and you can't log into WP Admin, you're stuck, and that's why you're here. Don't panic. In this quick lesson, I'll show you how to bring your WordPress site back to life. So when you go to your website, you probably see something like this. A message telling you there's been a critical error. No kidding. Typically, this sort of thing happens after you've installed an update, but occasionally when you install a new plugin that's not compatible with your site, this can happen too. So you click through on this link to learn more about debugging in WordPress, and you get to this page, which is completely unhelpful. So we're going to ignore this page. So you try to log into your WordPress admin, and you get the same error message, except if you look closely, it's not exactly the same error message. If you look at the instructions, you'll see it says, please check your site admin email inbox for instructions. Hopefully you have access to that inbox because that will make your life much easier. Here's what's happening. Your website is in what they call site recovery mode. This is actually an improvement over the old days of WordPress. In the bad old days when your WordPress website died, you would see something that looked like this. That's a blank white screen, also known as the white screen of death. WordPress has mostly killed off the white screen of death. Instead, we have this thing called the WordPress recovery mode. Let's follow the recovery mode instructions and check the admin mailbox. So I'm in my admin mailbox, and there's a message from my website. I'm going to click through and look at that. And this is the message you will receive, or something like this. This is telling me that since WordPress 5.2, there's been this thing that detects when there's a fatal error on your website, your site goes into recovery mode. It's telling me specifically that a plugin caused the problem. In this case, it was WooCommerce. And then I've got some other instructions for recovering my site. The most important thing is this link. This link will allow me to log in in recovery mode. This link essentially disables the problem plugin long enough for me to be able to get into the back end as an admin user and take care of the issue. Now, this link is only good for 24 hours, uh, but if that 24-hour period expires, you can always trigger a new email message by trying to get to your admin panel. And when you see the error message, if it's been more than 24 hours since the previous message was sent, WordPress will send another message. Uh, there's also some more detail about the configuration of my site and then specific error messages at the bottom. So these are things you can use to deal with your website problem if the recovery mode link does not work. But the recovery mode link should always work. So I click that link, and I'm going to log in. And when you log in, after clicking on that link, you will see on the banner on the top, in the admin banner, you see exit recovery mode. That lets you know that you're in recovery mode. You also have another notice across the top telling you you're in recovery mode. And then a notice that one or more plugins failed to properly load with a helpful link to go directly to the plugin screen. I'm going to click on that. And there is the problem plugin highlighted in red. And I also get the specific error message related to what the problem is. Now I've got a couple of options here. If I click resume, this will activate the plugin again and the site will still be broken. Or I can click deactivate and deactivate the plugin. And that will bring my site back. Uh, but obviously, WooCommerce, I got to deal with that problem somehow. But uh, as long as the site is online, that's the main thing. Uh, depending on what plugin brought your site down, you may need to find an alternate plugin. When you're done with this, you can click on exit recovery mode and everything goes back to normal. Now I'm just back in the normal admin where I can see all of the other plugins and manage my site the way I normally would. And I can get to the front end and see my web page, uh, my website, uh, as minimalist as it is, is back. And that's one way to get out of recovery mode. Now you're probably wondering what email address that message gets sent to, and that is the site admin address, which you will find under general settings, administrator email address. This is the address that will get those recovery mode messages. So you want to make sure that all of your websites have the right email address uh, so that when something goes wrong, you'll be able to get one of these recovery mode email messages and bring your website back. So what happens if you don't have access to the site's admin mailbox? Well, you're going to have to resort to the old way of fixing a broken WordPress site. You'll need to break out an FTP program or maybe use the cPanel file manager. 
you need to get to the WP content slash plugins folder on your web server. And the brute force way to fix this is to rename the plugins folder to anything else. I usually add an X to the end of the folder name. That will disable all of the plugins on your website and bring your site back to life. And I'll link to my old video on fixing a broken website below this video. That old method still works. And if you don't have access to the admin email, that's going to be your best bet. And that's a quick overview of site recovery mode. Best of luck in bringing your site back to life. And don't forget to update your admin email addresses for every WordPress site responsible for maintaining.